let's look at the nearsightedness. So the first thing we need to look at is the uh, how to show the formation of the image for nearby objects. Okay, so we are dealing with uh, nearsightedness. That means that everything is clear nearby. So if you have an object nearby, the image is going to be formed at the retina. So everything is fine. Now, on the second question here, um, we need to show the image formation for distant objects. Okay. So let's say that I go to the distance now. So if light some come parallel like that. So now what will happen is the image is going to be formed slightly in the in front of the retina. So there's a small problem because in order to see clearly, the image should be formed on the retina. So it's not happening right now. So what we need to do is we need to bring the focus back to the retina. So we need to diverge these rays to bring it back. So the corrective lens we need is going to be a diverging lens like this. And let's see what happens. So now, um, so when you have the to correct this problem for a far uh, objects that are far away. So once again, let's say that the light ray is coming from somewhere far away. So what will happen is this lens will divert the ray a little bit, and then the eye will bring it back to the retina there. So that's what happens. And um, if you extend the refraction from the lens, you will see that it will bring back some air here. So the virtual image is going to be formed right there by this uh, corrective lens. That's the virtual image. By the corrective lens. And then, of course, that becomes the object for the eye. And the eye forms a real image on the back of the retina. So that's what happens. All right, so let's try this problem. We have a nearsighted person who has a far point of uh, I guess 65 centimeters. So that'd be this uh, far point here. What power of uh, contact lens and also spectacle lens are needed to uh, restore normal vision? Now we'll do it for the contact lens first. So, so basically, um, uh, the far point is 65 only. So in order to see further. Now the further you need, you need to see is going to be all the way far out. That'll be infinite. Okay. So for distant vision, uh, the furthest you will see is going to be far away, which is infinite. So the object distance is infinite, and the image distance is going to be at the. We bring the image at the far point, and then the eye will take care of the rest. So it should be 65 centimeters. But this is minus because a virtual uh, image you see there. So make sure you put the negative sign for that. And then also I'm going to write this in meters. So it'll be 0.65 meters. Now I can calculate the power. So the power is basically 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. So if you plug in these numbers, we get 1 over infinite. And then DI is negative, so minus 1 over 0.65. Now, 1 over infinite will be 0. So we need to do only the second part, which is uh, basically uh, 1 over uh, 1 over point uh, negative 1 over 0.65. So let me do that. Um, Uh, negative 1.54. So the power I'm getting is negative 1.54 diopters here. Um, anyway, so so for the contact lens, the power is negative 1.54 diopters. Now, how do we change this for the spectacle lens? Well, all we had to do is for the spectacle lens, if the distance between the eye and the lens is 1.5 centimeters, we just need to subtract that. Um, when we do the spectacle lens, so so the 65 becomes okay. So let me do that over here. So 60, and also let me use a different color. So the 65 becomes 65 minus 1.5. That'll be 63.5. So 
So that's in meters, of course, it's negative. Um, so it'll be negative uh, 63.5 meters. That's going to be our, sorry, centimeters. The, but if you put that in meters, it'll be negative 0.635. So, so the power will be just, uh, instead of 0.65, we're going to put 0.635. So for spectacular lens, the power will be negative 1 over 0.635. Now the infinite part will be zero anyway. So if you do that, 1 divided by 0.635 will be uh, negative 1.5 sub 1. So that will be negative 1.5 sub 1. 5 or 175. So the power for the spectacular lens is negative uh, 1.57 diopters, and the one for the contact lens is negative 1.54. So that's the way you deal with uh, problems when it comes to nearsightedness. Okay. So when it comes to nearsightedness, it's a little bit easier because the object distance is going to be infinite, and then when you do one over infinite you get zero for that. So you don't need to worry about that term. Only the second part comes into play.